Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here for the Solo Coder. Today I'll be talking about RFPs. So what is an RFP? RFP is a request for a proposal. It's usually a document, a written document, usually extensive, that a big organization, corporation, or government agencies like universities, they submit to different solution providers, to different vendors, for those vendors to submit bids to their projects. You may come across RFPs, maybe you know someone, they know what you do, they send uh, an RFP for you to submit, or maybe you are just on the market, you know some people around, and you see RFPs coming your way. So the question you may ask is, should I be involved with RFPs? Because this is a different game. And by the way, this is not for the beginner solo coder out there. This this will require a little bit more chops. And I hope that you will be doing uh, your solo coder career for a bit before you get involved with RFPs. Because it's a different game. So why those big organizations, they use RFPs? Because they want to avoid the scheme of the person who's hiring the company, they know a body of theirs, it's a, it's a family member, it's a friend, so they want to avoid that. So they, they try to go with this fair approach of submitting this you know, lengthy document to different vendors and they can bid on. Few things that you need to keep in mind that sometimes RFPs are not written by technical people. They, they, they may sound a little bit off-putting because some of the terms that they are using are not the typical terms that you use on your you know technical domain so you have to keep that in mind the other thing that you have to keep in mind is that whoever is reading that may not be a technical person either so you so an rfp response needs to be structured in a very particular way that's the reason why to be honest with you i'm not a fan of rfps whenever i see an rfp I usually walk away. Now, just because this is not my game, I'm not saying that this is not that this can be this cannot be your game. I'm just giving my view here. Another thing to keep in mind is that some RFPs are just a, a, a game of, of marked cards. They may have already that buddy or that family member or that friend that they will tailor that RFP just so they their friend can win. So keep that in mind because you will realize quickly that you have to invest a lot of time to respond to an RFP. You have to read it through, evaluate if you can handle, if you and your company, if you have one with people already, can handle that kind of work. You have to write it in a certain way. So you have to dedicate, your, dedicate a lot of time and effort towards responding to an RFP that it may or may not result in a project for you. RFPs are usually used for larger projects and with larger projects also comes the hard reality of how hard it is to estimate a large project. Humans are just bad at estimating, so I don't expect you to be that different from me. So a few points if you want to reply to an RFP is follow a structure, follow a response structure. You can find on the web different RFP response structure. Just go in and search for that. Pretend that you are a software provider, that the solution that you are proposing can be bought off, uh, off the shelf. Propose a solution that is custom tailored to that proposal to that those specifications you need to address each and every and every item that they specify on the proposal that they need so make it very custom make it very tailored to them you may also want to consider adding a maintenance package at the end of your proposal because usually they will expect that you give support after the, the solution is delivered so and that's actually a good way to create some retainer for you now, it's funny that uh, by doing some research for this ramble, I came across an interesting type of professional out there, where, which are professionals that are specialized on helping you writing proposals back for RFPs. So I'm going to post a link here in the comment section of this video that is a link to Upwork, where you can find professionals that will help you craft 
the request for a proposal response that you need to respond to. If you have never done, and if you really want to respond to one, I would highly recommend to try one of those professions. I have never tried them. I just came across the fact that this type of professional exists out there. But again, give it a try if you want to respond to one and if you don't have the experience. Anyway, that's it for now. Request for proposal, RFPs, not something that I love, not something that I like, but it's out there and you will come across that on your solo career. That's it. Question to you. Have you come across RFPs before? Did you answer to them? How much effort did you have to put into doing that? So peeps, let's keep talking as usual. If, if not there, let's talk on the video comments right here. Ask questions, comment, agree, disagree, talk. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye.